Hey, good morning. Today I'm finally making another video after a good amount of time. That's my bad. Uh, I keep getting asked to make another video with the updated rig because some of you guys follow me on you know Instagram and see that I've changed things around. I would say today's a pretty good day uh, to show you because I got just this house wash for today. No one's home. Um, and you know, it's a pretty nice area. Super, super scenic. I'm in Key Largo. All right, let me crack this open. All right, so all that's new compared to the last videos is I no longer rock this as my, my, my batch mix tank. That's just for water. So whenever I'm done with the job, I take my dipstick, put it in there and just run water through the system. So it flushes everything out. Um, so I have the two 55 gallon drums. Well, it caps out at 50, but I usually do a little bit more. And uh, what else is new? I got a new pump. Inside that battery box, there's a Everflow seven gallon per minute uh, bleach pump. It beats the Northern Tool ones that I rocked in my previ previous videos by a mile. Performs way better and it's lasted long with no problems. So just keep it dry and keep it out of the sun and it'll take care of you. Um, what else, what else? Oh, I got new chemical hose. It's 200 feet, half inch. Um, I used to rock five eighths before uh, and it was just too thick. It, it performed well, so I tried three eighths because somebody recommended it. It was horrible. The pump had a hard time running the chemical through, um, so it underperformed like crazy. So I exchanged for half inch, and half inch is where it's at. And um, a new new gun for the soft wash system. All right, here's the new gun. The reason I switched to this one is because I was rocking the ones from Northern Tool, and uh, oh. Nice, you don't want to do that. But the trigger mechanism on the Northern Tool ones, the, the spring gets locked up super easy. They're really cheap, but this one, everything's, you know, plastic. And uh, a new surface cleaner because mine broke at the apartments I, I just finished doing. All right, I think that's it. About to run everything through one more time is, oh, this is new too. You had a DN10 ball valve. Um, that's where it's at but we have our general pump hose reel holds way over 200 because that's 200 right there we got the honda gx 390 belt driven four gallon per minute 4000 psi the four for four 100 feet of garden hose back here i don't got this held up in any fancy way because i don't have a reel yet a valley industries hose reel with 200 feet of line and um, a lot of questions on how I have this mounted with the roof rack there's like little these little holes right here and I ran some screws through that through the reel and tightened them and here she is you know okay and here's the Everflow bleach pump I have this covering it because the battery box flew away I gotta go get a new one but I have a 90 degree running to my dipstick, dropstick, whatever you want to call it. And then the other 90 degree running to the swivel on the hose reel. So that's what, you know, I siphoned from here. So if I want to run bleach, I put it in the tank and then turn the motor on and then it starts running, runs to the swivel. And then inside the actual hose reel, there's a little, you know, connection. That's where you connect your actual chemical hose and that's how all that works be whirl away service cleaner ladder and some cone i bought from somewhere all right i don't know how much more in depth i could go on the truck but to further explain things i'm just gonna show you guys how i get everything set up and ready to do a job like this or whatever you got to do before I do that, I just want to talk a bit about, you know, pros and cons about running a setup like this rather than a trailer setup. So for pros, super convenient, super easy. You're in and out. 
you could park anywhere like at the apartment shop i was just backing into parking spaces and just working out of the truck could never do that with the trailer um it looks pretty cool i don't know it's just, it's just fun to carry your work stuff around but the cons you know sometimes you want to leave work at work and um i gotta take this everywhere uh, another huge negative is you know it, it makes some wear and tear on the truck and this stuff is see like look at that that's a no-go i can't i can't let that keep happening so the trailer's on the way uh, i'm gonna have a video about building that that setup because that's super exciting stuff um another con another con you know you limit yourself because you don't you there's no space for water tanks and all that i've seen people that do it i don't know how um i mean i love this setup but you could only go so far this roof rack i got it at harbor freight it was a pretty cheap roof rack if you're gonna if you're looking into one right now don't cheap out because you'll you'll pay but yeah let's get to it First things first, connect to the water. So I just pull my garden hose, find the closest spigot that has good flow. Bingo, on the side of the house, that works. Test it, got water, perfect. Okay. So now, yeah, we already have water running. I'm gonna add some water to the tank that has chemical in it because we're only doing a, a house wash, so it doesn't have to be super concentrated. So I just threw some surfactant to the, the barrel. Now I'm adding water. All right, so I'm ready to run my chemical through my pump. So I'm gonna put my dipstick in. That tank there, and that's it. Okay, so we got our we got our dipstick and the tank, and um, let me explain the bleach pump a little bit. So the difference between the North Star and, and the Everflow, well, one of the differences is that when you buy it, it just comes with some wiring. Um, the wiring's pretty small, so I replaced it with 10 gauge. That's what they recommend. It's a lot thicker. Um, and you're gonna have to install a switch in the in the line because there's like I said there's no on and off. So this cool this switch I got from Northern Tool and it's it's a little key, you know, you stick the key in, turn it on, and then the pump ran. I don't know if you heard it. But yeah, so this is how this is how I run my stuff. So I just run the wire to the cabin of the truck where my battery sits because I don't want it sitting in the back. Um, and yeah, so the pump's running. And that's that. So now the pump's running. Let's give it a shot, see. Boo, bingo. Okay, so I'm gonna start pulling out the pressure washing hose because we got the water connected and the chemicals are already ready to go. So let's pull out the pressure washing hose, put some PPE on, and we'll get to it. Take off the Crocs and put the waterproof boots on. Right, so I got the boots on, I'm about to put the gloves on. And I know you guys aren't used to me wearing shorts with the boots. It's really comfortable. And you work good when you're feeling comfortable. So, shorts and boots it is. All right. So we got about 100 feet of garden hose ready to go. And everything's good to go so let's let's get to it so for house washers 
I usually start all the way in the rear, make my way around so that I could finish in the front. Um, so I have the chemical hose back there. I'm gonna turn on the machine. Oh, we got the machine running, water flowing. I like to keep the valve open at all times because the second you close it, I don't know, that's when stuff starts to pop. All right, so I just finished the complete house wash. Um, sorry if you wanted to see how that goes into depth. That's not the whole point of this video. The whole point of this video is, you know, just this updated rig. Uh, there's plenty of videos online about how to house, house wash. I got water running into the water tank so I could uh, put my dipstick in there and rinse out my bleach pump and I could get out of here. But meanwhile, as that fills up, I'm gonna put my, ho my hose, my pressure washing hose, the same way you saw me pull it out with the use so I could reel it back up. Just like that, fresh washing hose is ready to go. Got the water overflowing. So, ah, oh, the cocks are now wet. Whatever. So I'm gonna go turn off the water, disconnect my garden hose, wrap that up, rinse out the bleach pump, and that's it. That's this job. When I got here, the water, this valve was closed, so let me close it back up. Take my dipstick out of here. Throw it in the water tank. Close this up. And the pump's still on. So now all I have to do is just for a solid two, three minutes, just rinse it out with the water. All right, so I have the dipstick in the water, so now I'm just rinsing out my pump. So I just ran about 15 gallons of water through the system. It's more than enough. So I'm gonna cut this off. All right, there you go. So it's off. Take my ports out. Put them where they belong. Close this. Start reeling everything away like the chemical hose, and then just figure eight the garden hose back up, and we're out of here. But look at that, it came out really good. It's nice and bright. I mean, it wasn't really dirty to begin with, but it's clean now. Okay, so you got the garden hose wrapped up. Bleach pump is rinsed. Um, got the ladder back on. I had to use the ladder for a piece in the back. Uh, but yeah, I use these little, these little bungees to hold the ladder and the service cleaner on the roof rack. Now I gotta put the cone where it belongs. It's the funniest part. out of here uh, i made this video today i plan on dropping it today um, if it does well i'll keep pushing stuff out because i really do want to keep it more consistent okay so that's it for the video i didn't really show much washing but there's a lot of videos online that show you how to wash um 
But yeah, if you have any questions on anything, feel free to comment or reach out to my business page on Instagram at Servano's Pressure Washing. A lot of people have been doing that lately and um, you know, I usually get to them the same day. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, but that's it. Peace.